We have news about Luke Besson. We have had news about many, many people who have been accused of um, sexually inappropriate conduct. Luke Besson has now been accused of sexual assault by a second woman. Um, a French casting director has accused the director of Lucy in the Fifth Element of sexual violence and demanding favors for sex. She's 49. She says that, um, yeah, he, he assaulted her. And uh, these were first these claims were first published by um, the French investigative website Mediapar and reported by Agence France Press. Two months ago, a young actress also claimed that Besson had raped her, and police in France are investigating that claim. But his lawyer says these are fa fantasist, fantasist accusations. He says they're false. I totally miss those other accusations, right? I mean, I guess we're at a point where we're hearing so many of those now right. that you- Yeah, I don't think that, that it got a lot of play in the US. I mean, I, it, I was gonna say, on the one hand, you know, I didn't know how this was gonna play out in France because we've had that whole thing of like the the older actresses right. who were against, Deneuve. yeah, well, she kind of recanted, but mm -hmm. some of the other ones sort of coming out against the whole Me Too thing. Uh, but these are actual criminal charges we're talking about right. here. So it's not just Good. a matter of like, I mean, you know, oh, you know, he, he you know, whatever, like this is this is a this is at the level of the police are involved. There is an investigation, right? So. And beyond being a director, he is of course you know in charge of Europa Corp, a mm -hmm. massive production company which just pumps out movies, and so he's a very powerful guy in the French film world. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, um, but Harvey Weinstein is powerful too, and right. we're, that's not going well. well so you far. know, it, right? And Weinstein, there's been coverage in the last couple of weeks. We haven't For really him. talked about it on the show, but there's been coverage of Weinstein continuing to plead not guilty and his lawyers are hinting at, or there's some there's some analysis and some prediction that the defense on Weinstein's part will basically be, look, everybody knew what they were getting into. This was the scene, uh. right, no, the everybody's doing it defense and anyone, the idea will be like pointing at the accuser saying, which, I don't agree with, to be clear, but. Oh, so it's the their fault for going saying, to the hotel room for the meeting? You oh, came up to Harvey's on. place, what did you think was gonna happen? Like That's gonna be his defense. That's, that's, his, that's that his defense? That may not fly, oh, hopefully that does brother. not fly. Um, anyways, we will keep track of all these stories. Finally, some happier news for you. Um, the 12 Thai soccer players are out of the cave along with their coach. As you know, this is a story that has gripped the world for the last couple of weeks. And because it is so dramatic, of course there's going to be a film about it, of course, because it's you know it's, it's inherently cinematic. The Chilean miners got one. I was, I was explaining to, to Nicholas, <laughs> my son, I was saying like, remember the whole thing with Chilean miners? This is like that, but in a cave in Thailand. Anyway, so interestingly, Pure Flix Entertainment is who got the rights to this. Yeah, and we'll that, adapt this story. They are a ooh. Christian film company. They make the God's Not Dead movie, they which Alonzo sure and Dave have seen all of them. What's interesting about this to me though is that the thing that, that kept the Thai soccer players alive was their reliance on Buddhist meditation. The coach had been training to be a Buddhist monk. Interesting. And he taught them to tap into their inner serenity wow. and find inner strength through meditation. So I'm wondering now if this is being adapted by a Christian film company, are they gonna like tweak that and turn it into uh, Christian prayer? Because look, I still remember Texas in the 90s and maybe Texas now, uh, there was a whole thing where like there were churches that were against yoga classes. <laughs> because if you meditated, you were letting down your defenses and letting Satan in. And that's not an exaggeration, <laughs> this is a real thing, Google it. So uh, yeah, Pure Flix dealing with a movie about Buddhist meditation, I, I have no idea how that's gonna wind I up. Really, I'm really more interested in this even more now than I would have been because of it. Um, the CEO and co-founder of Pure Flix, Michael Scott, not like the guy from The Office, totally different guy. Um, I would maybe change, not totally different. I would change my name. <laughs> has a house in Thailand. And his wife was really close friends with the sergeant who died during the huh. rescue operation trying to save these kids. So that was his end to get these right. rights? Right, and, and they were just transfixed by the story as, as so many people were. And um, Michael Scott is coming in and he's gonna, you know, with his company, he wants to, he says, well, but he says it's not necessarily <laughs> to make this a Christian film, uh -huh. just an inspirational one. Okay, So I've never seen a Pure Flix movie that wasn't garbage, but you never <laughs> know, maybe this will be the one. Were any of them like, well made, like well crafted at all. The ones, I have not seen every Pure Flix title, because right. there's a lot, like they have their own streaming service. Yeah. 
But I saw the first two God's Not Deads. I think I've seen a couple other ones in there. They are not well lit. They are not well yeah. acted. They're not well edited. They're, they're edited not well written. Or, so. They're edited in a choppy way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so the producers say they'll be lining up screenwriters in the next few weeks. The film will be co-produced by Adam Smith of Chaos Entertainment. They're thinking it's going to be like a 30 to $60 million budget, which is really a lot more than most pure flicks movies are. Oh, yeah. So perhaps we will have the elusive production values. <laughs> right. Maybe that they can Alonzo afford a real scenes. cinematographer. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway. It's they've, not always, they've always said Christian movies aren't good because Christian because fundamentalist Christian churches drove out the actual artists. The one <laughs> with the, the girl who fell through the tree was good. With Jennifer there, Garner. What was that yes, called? Miracles from Heaven. Yes. There are some yeah. that are okay. Look, best faith-based movie of the year, first reformed. That is excellent. Go see that.